So there are a million different positions where you could put your main light, but we're gonna go over three different places in today's video. We're gonna talk about beauty dish lighting, Rembrandt lighting, and overhead lighting. So let's get started. So originally for this look, I thought about using a Mola Rayo, a 16 inch beauty dish. And the manufacturer does say that you should use it for full body. And in fact, when I tested it out, it was way too focused on his face and uh, fell off really quickly. So I've swapped that out now for an Ellen Chrome 70 centimeter deep Octabox. And it should function sort of like a large beauty dish essentially. And I've got it boomed out directly over the camera, centered uh, with Jordan's body there, pointed down at about 45 degrees so that the center of the light is pointed at the center of his face. And if I use my trusty light meter here, I can find out that the exposure is at f8. So I'm gonna shoot at f8, we'll see how that works out. Hopefully it will be right. Oh, okay, so this softbox is actually too far to this side, so I'm gonna pull it over and get it directly centered above the camera. And then I'm also just making sure that it's so, uh, it's low, but it's just not really getting in the frame too much. In fact, since I'm cropping to eight by 10, I can see it in the two to three crop on the screen, but I can't uh, see it in the eight by 10 crop once it's on the monitor. And I just want to get all my shadows lined up directly under his jaw, and I want to have it as low as possible to get the best catch lights possible. But before we move on, I just wanted to tell you about one thing, and that's my exclusive members only website, The Academy with John Gress. And on The Academy, you'll get access to longer format tutorials than you'll find here on YouTube. You'll get access to two live Q&A and critique sessions that take place over Zoom. You'll get early access to my YouTube videos, discounts on in-person workshops, and more. So to sign up for a three-day free trial, just go to johngress.com academy. So for this look with Jordan, I've got the light in the classic Rembrandt position. Now, if he's in the middle of the clock and the camera is at six o'clock, then that light is coming in there right at about four o'clock. It's just slightly off to his right and a little bit in front of him. And that allows the light to wrap around uh, across his face and create a little pocket or a highlight underneath his left eye and the shadow from his nose comes over and meets the shadow from his jawline. And because that shadow was really important, I made sure in this setup that when I tried to fill in the lower half of the frame with this V flat, that I did it so that it didn't impact the shadow that was up here uh, at jaw level. So that's why you only see this V flat folded in half down here at the bottom. And what it's doing is it's bouncing light around from the main light, hitting this, which is filling the shadows on the front of the trunk. It's bouncing around and it's creating a highlight on the top of his shoe. And now you can see in this before and after comparison what it looks like with and without the V-flat, and it makes a huge difference because the background back there is very dark, and without the V-flat, his black shoe would have blended right into it. All right, so for this setup with Jordan, I wanted to put my main light directly over the set, pointed down. So I've got the Ellen Chrome 190 centimeter or 74 and a half inch indirect octobox. And in there, I've got an ELC 500 head at about half power, which is about 250 watt seconds. So my goal here is to shoot at one 200th of a second at F8 at ISO 100. And then compositionally, I have layered two backdrops back here, one in front of the other. And I was using that ladder originally just to get the backdrop up there. And then as soon as I got it in place, I sort of realized that it looked cool. So I'm gonna have him lean away from the ladder and that's gonna create a diagonal. And I'm gonna have him lean, uh, and then I'm gonna have the ladder over there creating another diagonal or making a V in our final composition. And in case you were wondering, this light up here, the softbox is doing nothing. It's just sort of in storage over there in the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just put it below. And as always, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.